Fart night. All right, let's see what's up inside. And what are the prices going for? We're going to open up uh, the regular ones first. I'm kind of excited to see this. Victory Royale. I played uh, Fart Night a few times, but not many. There you go. Ooh. Whoa, boy. Maybe we can open all those really quick. Pause. There we go. Whammy. All right, time to open up the Fart Night Secret Layers. Sweet. Let's go. This is the, uh, maybe, uh, uh, all right. I'm not sure what I think about all this. Wait, is this, uh, that's, oh, this is foil. Sorry, pal. This is, who knows, traditional foil? Nope, that's a good one we want to crack. All right, these two first. Whoop, non-foil. What specialty card is in here? Boogie Bomb. Sacrifice Boogie Bomb. It deals two damage to any target. For one, Sacrifice Boogie Bomb, draw a card. All right, that's, I guess, the specialty card. And then let's take a look at the Fortnite cards. Pretty cool that they did this for Fortnite. Um, I think Wizards is just doing everything they can to expand. But let me tell you something. If you're a kid and you're playing Fortnite, you're on a computer. You're on your console. You probably do not care to sit down and play a game with cards in your hand. Now, I understand. I understand that there are MTG Arena, MTGO, and various other ways to play. But let's be honest and call a spade a spade. That one's cool. Crack the vault. I like that one. The artwork, everything about it. Battle Royale. But let's be honest. A kid is not going to want to sit and play with cardboard right now, man. We're in like the digital age. You know, so Wizards trying to like reach out to the uh, the Fart Knights out there. I don't think it's going to work, man. I, I They might gain, this is being realistic, maybe maybe from all this, maybe a thousand new people that have interest in the game. At best. Right? Is, is, that, is that too far? Am I, am, I, am, I, am I thinking about that wrong? Or, or, or do I make sense here? We've got a planes. These are the lands, I, I assume. These are mine. I bought one of each just because whoom, we got the old Spire. Hot diggity dog. You only get one card, right? Yep, just a Spire. Add one man of any color in your color's identity. It's pretty cool. All right. Who can tell me what card that is? It's not like it says it on the freaking, uh, on the card. No. <laughs> I wonder if they did anything exclusive for the Fart Knights. Planes? Okay. There's the island. Who did the art for these? Roberto. This one was Alexander. Okay. And then we got Kevin's art right here. Pretty cool. Just some lands, you know. Mountain. Alexander. If you do play Fortnite, though, I would assume that you're going to you're going to pick up these lands. Like you're going to want them. But another question is, Fortnite's just a game. How long can can that game possibly last? You know what I'm saying? Let's check out the foils. Like, for real, how long can that game possibly last? I mean, then again, you got stuff like Call of Duty. They make new ones, but, like, it just goes on forever. They just keep making new ones, though. With Fortnite, though. Why is he all dinger there? Mm -hmm. Shrinking Storm. All right, these are all foils. Dance Battle. Oh, what a boogie. Oh, what a boogie. I want that. Can I get that? Somebody do that for me. I just, we had this girl. It was a, it was a dare. She had, she, uh, she had to go to, a, go to the gas station when we purchased whatever. And uh, she had to throw on this, like, costume. This was, like, a month ago. Um, and it, it kind of looked like that. It looked like the fart night. But I think it was a cat or something. Uh, Supply Llama. I'm like, I'm not doing it. They're going to think I'm trying to rob the place. I ain't trying to play that game. Crack the vault. Bada bang. Gorgeous. I like that they put, like, unique stickers on the bottom, too. Battle Royale. Swing. And lastly, Triumph of the Hordes. Great card. That card, man, I, I did a turn two, uh, no, no, it wasn't a turn two win deck. I can't recall, but I, I used that card, Triumph of the Hordes. Not anyone was using it when I started playing with it. Not that I know of, at least. Um, this was like four years ago. And uh, the deck was cool, but man, it, I think it brought some attention to that card. Because Triumph of the Hordes, it was a very inexpensive card at the time. I, I think it was like 40 cents or 30 cents. I don't know what it's at now, but I know it's more than that. 
I'm sure I'll put the price on the screen. So here's the last one. These are, oh, non-foil lands, okay. So on the back, I, okay, I guess you just always get the same thing, the Spire. There you go, we got the Spire, pretty cool. I might keep all those in the packaging, who knows. But let's go through the very end here. The foil pricing is not far off from the non-foils. And in my opinion, I think more people are purchasing foils. So the price of the non-foil should be worth more due to scarcity. So that's my opinion. Swampage, the mountain, okay. And lastly, a forest, B-E-A, beautiful. So that closes out our fart night. I am doing that huge box. Let me just pull it over here for a second. This sucker's massive, guys. This sucker's massive. This is going to my personal collection. I have a lot of secret layers. I don't have all of them, but I have like, I think, 70% of them. This box is huge. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oomp. That's a big boy. I know, it's huge. Takes up like the whole freaking map. Break that down to a few videos. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Short video. Appreciate you watching. Actually, I'm, I'm going to include a fan mail opening at the very end of this right meow. Bubby David Long sent me some goodies here. So we're going to use a different kind of angle for this video just because of reasons. So we got uh, Joey. Thank you for signing my cards. I love your channel and have been a huge fan for a long time. I like your comedic and candid style that you portray. As a token for my thanks to you, here's a pack of Invasion that I got out of my mystery box from Walmart, which also had double dinos. Ooh, poor Itali. Keep making your awesome content, and please, if you get famous, don't remove me from your friends list on Facebook. Oh, shit. Really? Oh, dude. Sorry about that. Yeah. I appreciate all the work and effort you put in your videos. Keep on keeping on. If whatever I send... If whatever I sent to be signed off is messed up, just DM me on Facebook, etc., etc. I'll correct it. I haven't sent something signed before in the mail, so let me let me know. David Long. Mr. Long Gong, thank you so much for sending out the goodies. I did not delete them, guys. That was, that was just kind of that that part of the humor, okay? All right, you guys ready? Whew. It's probably worth about a million bucks right there. Nasty little EW for sure. I like that art. It's fun. And then uh, the Umazawa, which, Umazawa, I always, uh, I always wanted this one. I don't think I had a version of this. I honestly got a little excited when I opened this, and I'm like, oh, he, he sent that to me. That's mine. No, he wants it signed. I'm like, son of a bitch. All right, so I, I definitely took care of it and signed him. Here's our pack of Invasion. You guys ready for this? Let's get freaking real naughty. Can I put, like, my light on while we're doing this? That's cool. Did that help? No, just gave it more glare. Oh, that's cool too. Let's go back here maybe? I don't know. Let's do this, Brutus. You guys ready to take a bath? Ain't no chance in frick frontery. We're gonna do anything here. Uh, usually you just get annihilated when you crack one of these puppies open. So we got Mr. Turf Wound. I have to open this kind of strangely, but yeah, we, we do this. Worldly Council. About a skidink. Nomadic Elf. Fun art, man. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool for two. That card sucks. All right, moving forward. Serpentine Cavu. Gotta love yourself a Cavu, man. Everyone's got a pet Cavu. If you don't, something's wrong with you, man. You ain't doing life right. Soul Burn. Hot dogs. Razor Foot Graph. Flying and First Strike. Deuce Deuce. That was a time that could have been something. Overload. That's what she said. She's like, enough already. You're overloading my gut. All right, stop it, guys. Phantasmal Terrain. I like the little uh, drake there. Is that a drake and maybe like some kind of iguana humping him? Oh, wait. Nope, those are his wings. Man, that was way off. Oh, yeah. Moving forward. Tranquility. It goes way back. The one that stands out for Tranquility the most to me is a Tempest version. Definitely stands out. Kevu Aggressor, artwork-wise. Kevu Aggressor. Ready to take a bath. Title, Visionary. Searing Rays. Choose a color. Searing Rays deals damage each player. That color, that player control. I mean, we got the old transport. Fun art. Can't be blocked by blue creatures. Target creature becomes blue until. Oh, that's, I like that it can, uh, you know, make a target creature turn blue and it can't be blocked by blue creatures. You got to pay one for that, but there's already cards like Unblockable and 
uh, shadow and stuff like that. So, whoopity doo, you know. All right. Cavooch Chameleon. I once had a chameleon. That's freaking sweet, dude. Can't be countered. Becomes the color of your choice until the turn. It's, it's, can't be countered. It's good. Um, we got the old Skizzik. Got the kicker. It's a four drop. Kicker for one. Trample and haste. It's a five three. At end of turn, sacrifice Skizzik. Unless the kicker cost was paid. No foil for you. That was fun. I appreciate that. I knew we were going to take a path, though. Something about invasion packs, man. You just can beat down. There's just not much value in there. A few hits, and it's like, that's it. Some foilage, and that's all the goodness she wrote, man. Thank you so much, David, for sending that out, bro. Uh, sorry it took a little bit to get this back to you, but I'm going to hit it up in the mail right now, my dude. Uh,